Hi everyone, this week's Toy Hunt is filmed at Target. I'm in the front section by the cash registers. They have some new Disney Puzzle Pals, which are kind of cute capsules. As well as a variety of blind bags. This new like football character one. I like the football capsule, that's cute. I, I do like football. And then they actually have Pokemon cards here. So this Target is like 45 minutes away, so I don't go to it often, but it is worth it because they actually do have a nice stock. It's not as sold out as in the area where I live. And my goodness, they have the new Paldea collection. I've been looking for these with the new Scarlet Violet starters. And they come with the pins, which I love. And then the three promo cards with the silver borders, which Scarlet Violet is changing over to in the American sets. So they have all three. Quaxley, a few Coco, and Sprigatito. Brigatito, the cat, which is awesome. I love Fucoco. He is my favorite of the new starters. Oh, these are cute. It looks like you get four booster packs as well as a jumbo card with one of the new EX characters. They even have Pokemon Go and the um, Zoroark, V-Star Zoroark collection box. That's a cool one. That also comes with the pin. Wow, this this has a, a ton to choose from, which is pretty exciting because now now I know. <laughs> and in back on an end cap, which is like the magical new item end cap, they have the new Disney Dorables, the small collection boxes, as well as the larger multi-peak. And then we have all the mini brands. We have the Series 3 toy mini brands. Look at that Twilight Sparkle. They also have all the collector's cases. And then they also have the Series 2 Disney Store, as well as the collector's case. They have the mini fashion. We have some Real Littles Micro Crafts. Oh, the canvas art I haven't seen yet. They have the canvas art and it looks like the, the fizz bombs, <laughs> which seem to, to always be around. Um, I like the little mini globes. And then they also have Shopkins for Season 17 for the Real Littles. Love that series. And just a whole lot of new new miniatures on this end cap. I love it. Definitely well stocked. And then a quick trip down the Barbie aisle. They have a lot of the new cutie reveal um, Barbie sets. Oh, the monkey is really cute. So the monkey and the toucan are, are very tempting. I like the animal theme because they also have these ones um, with the little like sisters matching matching which is really cool so you have a purple toucan or a green elephant so those are those are nice the cutie reveal the newer ones won me over and then here's a quick look in the doll section i realized i think this shadow high one's newer at least i don't remember showing her but what's really cool is like look at the makeup compact the the color palette she comes with that's gorgeous i love the little miniatures um i hope they do more of those for Rainbow and Shadow High. Those are cool little accessories. But other than that, um, we've seen some of these dolls before, but they do have a nice selection. This Target also looks to be well stocked in the Monster High Creepover doll series. There's cute little Draculaura. I like her little buns up top. That's, that's cute. We also have Frankie. And then they have Twyla, which seems to be the the popular one out of the the four i love her design and the color combination is awesome and they also have claudine unless they have this cool miraculous ladybug this dragon one that's neat she's definitely new i know those are popular i just don't know too too much about them they have more dracula up there and then over here it looks like they have more of the real littles snack time for season 17. I love these. These cards are such a good value. Plus you can select ones you want. Look at the pineapple. I actually still have a couple um, that I bought. I probably didn't film them, but I need to need to open. Ah, I love that series. And then they also have a variety of other real little, some Disney adorables down there, cute Care Bears. I lose track of all the different like journals and and purses and stuff they have out but they also do have some poly pockets which have been absolutely adorable i really like them selling mini figures separately i think that's a cool idea so you can add them to your little compacts and play sets 
And then they have some of the other new compacts, like the Party Series and stuff. Very cool. Ooh, and then we have an empty <laughs> Make It Mini Food mini-verse. This is the, um, the little diner series. So these are the $6.99 ones. But look at how cute the cereal box is. They're the smaller sets, but still, um, I would like to try some more. They're just a lot of fun to make, even though I keep getting a lot of the drinks, but that's okay. They're, they're, they're cute. And then LOL has so many new dolls out as well. And some of you mentioned that LOL Surprise Minis are doing a cereal series, like the mini sweets, so that's exciting, and I'll definitely be on the hunt for that. And then in the Magic Mixies section, this Target is also well stocked. We have the single packs, we have the Tap and Reveal cauldrons, we have that awesome set of four. You get such a cool bonus character in there. And then even down here, we have some of the color Magic Reveal ones. A couple different eye colors. They don't have the full set like we saw at Walmart last week. They even have the, the crystal balls. We got some unicorn rescue. We got a lot of the little rainbow corns, puppy corns. What the fluff? <laughs> That's cute. And then, oh, look at this Tamagotchi. I love the different art designs on those. They have the pop stars, some squirkies. And then they have some larger squishmallows. Love that little dinosaur. And further down, they have a lot of the new little Squishville mystery capsules from Series 8. Which are really cute. So you get one inside. Look, at there's a frog in that series. So these are $5.99 um, for the little capsules. They actually have a couple different containers back there. Oh, and this set. Look at the little mini peacock. Okay, that's cute. I wonder if you can find that one in, in a capsule. So they have another box behind there. And then they also have this new set, which is the Beach Day Squad. <gasps> Look at the bird. Oh my goodness, that beak is very cute. Okay, I like the Beach Squad. Okay, I love that guy. <laughs> that is such a cute design. <laughs> so they have that set. Okay, lots of, lots of goodies. And then a quick look at the Lego section. They always have these high class sets for 18 years and up, but look at this old Atari computer cartridge computer system. I've seen pictures. Um, that's pretty cool. And then of course they have Optimus Prime, which is amazing. And then speaking of Optimus Prime in the Transformers section, they have this new Street Fighter 2 versus Transformers or like it's the combo. I know they've done collabs before with like Ninja Turtles as well as Ghostbusters. Oh my goodness, it's Hot Rod and RC. That is really cool. Has the characters, so it's their cars, but they also have kind of like the human faces, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. But if you're a Street Fighter and Transformers fan, then there you go. That is a pretty cool collab. And I'm just glad to see Transformers reaching out into other brands like that and collabing with, with different nostalgic items. That's awesome. Here's the Earthspark series. Optimus's face looks a little different there. I haven't seen that up close in person. Oh my goodness, they have new Transformers the Movie Studio series. We've seen Wheelie, but we've never seen Rumble. What? I didn't know he was coming out. Oh my goodness, he has the uh, earthquake extension arm thingies. Okay, that's that's really cool. Oh, and here's a Grimlock. Okay, this isn't on clearance. I was like, woo, I paid $17.99 for Grimlock. That's in the wrong spot. <laughs> the Super 7 figures are still $17.99. They only have one Grimlock left, but a couple Galvatrons. Who, who's cool? And then in the Star Wars section, they have this really awesome Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. It's the Jumbo Black Card series, and I just think it looks so cool and detailed has the rocket pack blasting off and stuff. That's that's a fun time. I love the original trilogy. And then they have this interesting retro Star Wars figure. And it has such a hollow foil design. And I know there's some meaning behind like the the color pieces of the characters versus the other paint job. So that's pretty neat. And then a quick look in the Funko section, they have the Batman animated series anniversary figure, which Oh, that's amazing. 
I didn't realize it was made by McFarland Toys as well, so that's a cool one. And then they have some random Funko Pops. Okay, so I am back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is the haul in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. And one thing I was so excited for, this Target actually had some Pokemon cards inside, let alone some brand new sets, which are absolutely adorable. So I picked up the few Coco. I'm not sure if I'm even pronouncing his name right, but he's one of the new little fire starters. He's like this little dragon dinosaur thing. You get the pin, you get the cool promo cards, which this is like the precursor to Scarlet Violet, um, which is awesome because I know they're changing over to the silver border. So you get the promos in the silver borders. You also get four different packs. It looks like we have some Silver Tempest in there. And then you get one of the Jumbo EX cards. And this one has Mariadon. So I'm really excited for Scarlet Violet. I think that new series is coming out, I think in March in the US. I know it's out currently in Japan. And I can't wait to see the next generation of, of Pokemon. So, Fiu Coco is my favorite new starter. However, I really do like Sprigatito, the cute little green kitty cat. Love the pin. They did such a great job. And then I made sure to get the other new EX character, which is Karyodon, I believe is his name. So, there you go. Um, that was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting those two. I passed on the duck. I'm forgetting, is it Quaxley's the duck? Yeah, there's Quaxley. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the duck. But either way, super excited for Scarlet Violet. And then I found this new Squishville Beach Day Squad set. And what really sold me on this is how cute is that little, is it a pelican or a seagull? Whatever it is, it's an adorable bird. And I love all the little sea critters. You get one mystery one. Definitely looks like a shark. So I had to pick this up. I, they had some of the new mystery capsules, but this was such like a better value. Like the mystery figures are like $6 for one, where these average out to like three something for each. So they're, they're there you go. I went with that one. And then the very last item for the haul is definitely a nostalgic buy. You know I love Transformers the movie. And I picked up the studio series of Cute Little Rumble, the Decepticon. I know back when the original toy came out, it was like mislabeled, like Frenzy and Rumble, like the colors were switched. But I always knew this guy as Rumble. And he's just a funny Decepticon. He's one of the little mini cassettes that go into Soundwave. And what's really cool is that the studio series comes with like his earthquake pounding thingies. And... I don't know if he ever had that in the original toy. I don't think so. So I just thought that was a nice addition because that, again, is such an iconic scene in, in Astro Train. And yeah, I'm really happy to add Rumble to my Transformers collection. They, they've done a good job with the Studio Series. Yes, I missed the plastic window, but this guy's in a really good package. So he will be displayed as such. So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful in your own toy hunts. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.